Well, and there it is, the brand new 2015 Ford Mustang. You know, this car has been a long time coming, and you could say half a century in the making. It's easily one of the most hotly anticipated vehicles of the past few years, and Ford Motor Company just unveiled it today. Now, as with today's Mustang, the 2015 model borrows styling cues from the past because, let's be honest, you can't just walk away from five decades of heritage. That being said, the new car is by no means shackled to retro design. Unmistakable Mustang cues are still there, things like the galloping pony logo, the long hood, and the three-chamber taillights. But now designers have added some new elements into the mix. The grille shape and headlamps were probably inspired by the hot new Fusion sedan, while the shape of the side glass reminds me a bit of an Audi A7. These traits should help it appeal to customers around the world, because remember, the Mustang is going global. An all-new interior should help attract customers as well. The cockpit was supposedly aviation-inspired, and it features more room, better visibility, and improved ergonomics, to say nothing of better craftsmanship. But design is one thing. As an enthusiast, what you probably care about most are numbers, and here are some of the car's big ones. As with today's Mustang, the base engine is going to be a 3.7-liter V6, but the Alpha option, once again, is a screaming 5-liter Coyote V8. Now, no official numbers have been released at this time, but Ford tells us that that 5-liter V8 is going to put out in excess of 420 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque, but that is not the 2015 Mustang's biggest powertrain news. Engineers are fitting the 2015 Mustang with an EcoBoost engine. Yes, the car is getting a turbocharged four-banger under its hood, and performance options sure have changed a lot from when this Boss 302 reigned supreme. Now, the engine should deliver at least 305 ponies, which is nothing to sneeze at. Now, the transmissions have also been updated, a six-speed manual and a six-speed automatic. And guess what? You can now get paddle shifters in the Mustang. Now, in addition to EcoBoost power, which should serve as the mid-level engine offering in the 2015 Mustang, the car's other big news is the addition of independent rear suspension. Yes, the iron log that props up the hindquarters of today's car is finally being put out to pasture for better or worse. Heritage runs deep with the Blue Oval, and especially with the Mustang. In fact, over the last 50 years, the company has delivered more than 9 million of these cars. And the one, this powder blue beauty I'm standing next to right now, was actually the first Mustang that was ever sold, and it was delivered days before the car was even supposed to go on sale. Now, as company COO Mark Field said during the reveal presentation, the Mustang is the heart and the soul of the Ford Motor Company. And if the car is going to beat in sync with a new generation of global driver, the 2015 model will be the car to do it.